Check out this stunning 1979 P. Susan B. Anthony dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS, this coin is a true beauty. According to Heritage Auctions, it's the wide rim variety easily distinguished by the date's close proximity to the rim. The strike is sharp, the surface satiny, and there are no significant abrasions. What's more, both sides exhibit gorgeous multicolor toning and pastel hues. It's no wonder this piece fetched a handsome $1,920 at auction. Presenting the stunning 1967 Lincoln Scent from the Special Mint Set, also known as SMS Scent. This beauty has been graded as SP65 Red Deep Cameo by PCGS. While scents from the 1965 to 1967 Special Mint Sets can be found with cameo contrast, examples with deep cameo are exceptionally rare. This gem boasts a uniform peach gold color with reflective fields free from detracting marks. A must-have for the advanced Lincoln Scent Collector, this piece sold for an impressive $3,360. Introducing a remarkable error coin, the 1946 D. Washington Quarter struck on a dime planchette. Graded as Mint State 61 by Annexes, this coin is highly lustrous, displaying deep rose and golden brown toning. Its centering with the date and mint mark on the flan is remarkably fortuitous for such an error. Wrong planchette errors like this one are always visually dramatic and highly desirable among collectors. This exceptional piece sold for nearly $3,000. Here's a fascinating find. A 1942 Jefferson nickel struck on a silver alloy planchette, specifically a type 1 variety. This is an extremely rare transitional error. Despite its heavily circulated condition, this error coin was graded as good 6 by PCGS. While 1943 dated scents struck on copper planchettes fetch spectacular prices, similar wartime wrong alloy transitional errors on Jefferson nickels are significantly rarer. This particular coin is struck from Sands Mintmark Type 1 dies, yet is struck in the silver alloy composition associated with the Type 2 design, bearing a large P Mintmark above Monticello. It was sold for nearly $10,000. Here's a fascinating find a 1969 S. Lincoln scent with a double die obverse. Graded as AU58 by PCGS, this coin's double die obverse is visible without magnification, much like the famous 1955 double die obverse Lincoln scent. A general rule suggests that the more visible the doubling, the more popular the variety becomes among collectors. Another key factor in its popularity is its listing in the guidebook. Varieties such as this double die listed in the popular red book enjoy substantially greater popularity. This example exhibits a trace of wear on the highest design points while retaining splashes of original orange mint luster on its olive surfaces. Minor carbon specks are visible, including a few larger spots on each side. It fetched an impressive $25,300 at auction. Here we have a captivating piece the 1909 VDB Lincoln scent with enchanting toning. Graded as Mint State 68 plus red and brown by PCGS and later approved by CSC, this coin exhibits iridescent hues around the borders, adding to its allure. It displays an outstanding level of preservation with mark-free surfaces. The original design features the designer's initials, VDB, at the bottom of the reverse, a feature that was later removed from subsequent issues due to public outcry. Introducing the 2000 P. Cheerio Sacagawea dollar, graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. This coin is a fascinating piece of modern numismatic history. In 2000, to promote the new golden dollar featuring Sacagawea, General Mills included Sacagawea dollars in random boxes of Cheerio cereal. While most purchasers received a regular 2000 cent, a small percentage also received a Mint State 2000 P. Sacagawea dollar. It wasn't until a few years later, in June 2005, that numismatist Pat Braddock reported that his example differed from the typical one. The tail feathers were ribbed. This lot also includes the original 2000 Lincoln scent that accompanied the dollar in the cereal box graded MS65 Red by PCGS. This unique piece of numismatic history sold for $5,760, offering collectors a glimpse into a unique promotional campaign. Here we have the 1925 Vancouver Half Dollar, um, graded in Mint State 67 by NGC. This coin holds a special place in numismatic history. 
as it was struck to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the founding of Fort Vancouver. Initially sold at $1 each in August and September 1925, the coin's limited sales were due to the fact that the founding of Fort Vancouver was not considered a significant national event. With an original mintage of only 14,994 pieces, the Vancouver half dollar became one of the rarer commemorative half dollar types. By 1928 to 29, these coins were fetching as much as $10 in the numismatic marketplace, though prices settled back down to the $6 to $7 range by the 1930s. Today, the Vancouver half dollar is considered one of the more desirable coins in the 1892-1954 classic era series, especially in gem condition. This superb gem specimen was sold for $2,880 on January 22, 2024, adding to its allure and value among collectors.